Hi, I'm JB with your weekly Mountain Tips, Mountain Tricks. So one of the most common questions we get as mountain guides is uh, whether or not people should be using Diamox or any other types of medication for altitude illnesses, altitude sickness, um, and what have you. So since I'm not a physician myself, we thought we'd bring in consulting our consulting doc, Dr. Emily Segallon of the University of Utah, where she's the Wilderness Medicine Fellow. So Dr. Segallon, what can you tell us about acetazolamide or Diamox? Well, Diamox is a commonly prescribed medicine for both the treatment and prevention of altitude illness. It's a diuretic that basically causes metabolic changes in your body to increase your breathing rate so that your body acclimatizes faster to altitude. Not necessarily. You should definitely talk to your doctor before starting any medication and for recommendations on how to take your medicine. Um, but certainly if you've had uh, any risk factors for altitude illness, so if you have had altitude illness before, if you are planning on uh, rapidly ascending a mountain, if you're planning on having a very strenuous trip, um, or if you have other medical problems that make you more prone to altitude illness, you may want to take acetazolamide. So acetazolamide can cause an allergic reaction. People with uh, sulfa allergies should definitely use caution when taking it and should talk to their doctor before they take any acetazolamide. Um, it can cause you to become dehydrated because that's how it works and dehydration is a common problem at altitude anyway. It can cause tingling in your fingers and your toes and that can be quite unpleasant. And it can also cause you to have a bad taste in your mouth when you drink any kind of carbonated beverage. Absolutely, you should definitely tell your guides whenever you're on any kind of medication, whether it's for altitude illness or any other kind of medical problems, you should tell your guide before you go on the trip. Um, well, the Wilderness Medical Society has published guidelines on the prevention and treatment of high altitude illness. That's a great resource for both uh, people as well as their physicians. If your physician is unfamiliar with the correct dosage for prevention of altitude illness or um, has any questions, the WMS guidelines are definitely a great place to start. They were published in 2010 through the Wilderness and Environmental Med Medicine Journal, and you can find the article by Googling uh, WMS and recommendations for altitude. So hopefully this information helps you out. If you have any questions, shoot me an email at jb at swsmtns.com, and hopefully we'll see you out on the mountains. Thanks.